What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Spartan Trainer. Uh, as of today, we're officially one week out. So this is, I think, one of the last three or last four training sessions that I'm doing. It's a grip and stability workout. You probably noticed I'm, I'm sitting on the ground right now. I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a warm up position. I'll show you how I do it. It's one of my favorite warm up exercises. So what you want to do is get your butt next to the wall. I start sideways and put my legs, I rotate them up against the wall and then I, I kind of move my butt closer to the wall and put my legs into like a squat position. And now the idea is get your butt right up, press against the wall as close as you can. It's gonna be really tight on your hips and, and your glutes and your ankles and your knees, but it's, it's a really great stretch to, to get your lower body primed for, for the exercises you're about to do in the gym. And it can be can be for any workout, because I mean, your hips come into play with everything. And you can also, instead of bending your knees, put your legs straight up against the wall and spread them out, like kind of in a, in a split position. And so I alternate between both of these. I'll try to hold them for about a minute. But what do we have on today's workout agenda? Well, it is a strength and stability workout, or grip and stability workout. So first exercise, we're gonna start off I'm gonna start off with a circuit and we're also we're gonna do two circuits today actually. It's 10 burpees, five pull-ups, one minute plank, one minute plate carry, one minute rest. We'll do five rounds of that. And then we get into 10 deadlifts, some beast activations, which is like a core exercise, and then some hanging leg raises, and we'll do a few more rounds of that. I think that's a 10 minute arm wrap. Let's jump in. Alright, so we ran into a little bit of a roadblock. This is dead, but not to worry. We got my trusty pal, Benny. Hey, What's going on, brother? How are you, mate? It's we up. got the we got the iPhone cam, so, iPhone 8. so yeah, that's it. No excuses. We're gonna get this workout filmed. Start off first thing first, burpees. Let's forget about a curfew. This all that is stuck in my head. It's me, you all speed in my heart is racing, but I'm not sure. Nothing will get your heart rate up like burpees. We got five pull-ups. Sure, I wanna place it, cause it only does this with you. One minute plank done. We got one minute plate carry. I'll pick the picket. I picked the thicker plate because it's a bit harder to grip. Let's rock. <laughs> Still a few seconds there. Okay, so that's one round. We're gonna do that five times, usually with the plate carry. That must have been a fast walk. It's about a minute all the way to the end of the gym and back. So, four rounds to go. Five sets, done. That's only like 15 minutes of work, but it's, it's ridiculous. We're gonna go into a 10 minute AMRAP. We've got deadlifts, beast activations, which are a core exercise, and then some hang leg raise, more core exercise. And then five reps of beast activation, both sides. This is not the exact beast activation in the catalogue, but it works for me. Heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it, cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension, move us into the next dimension. Let's now the deadlift isn't as heavy as what I've usually been going, but that's because we're in the later stages of training, and I wanna keep my legs fresh for a bunch of running. So, about 15 seconds rest. And we'll just keep going, repeating it over and over. 10 minute cycle. So the goal of 
that workout was to get the grip strength going so when you're on the obstacles, you can hold on and move around. Same with the core strength over those long distances. Your legs could probably take it, but your core is what will end up letting you down. So that was the main focus of this workout. And of course the short rest times to mimic in between the running and the obstacles. Let's go eat. I had to bake a sweet potato in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, while well this hotter than the sun type object is cooling, we've got another one in the microwave going, but while that's running, we're gonna prep the other stuff so by the time this is out, everything's ready to go. A wise man once told me to never eat alone. Dad! Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, how is it mate? And then I'm gonna sign off the video that I did, alright? So you say, when I ask you how is it mate, just say whatever you think. Right. And then I'll put the finishing touches on with a bit of lemon, right. Right, and then I'll sign out the video, alright? So how's it look mate? Mate, I can't believe what I've got in front of me. <laughs> it is a whiz bang new beauty. <laughs> Yeah, well, we got one more thing, the finishing touch. We get a squeeze of lemon on there to finish off. Yeah, I'll yeah. do. I'll do the same on mine. So this is going on YouTube, Dad. You know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I'm one week out from Spartan race. How do you reckon I'll go? Uh, Spartans were pretty good. You, you, you're not Greek. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't hold you too long on this. So we got some greens at the bottom, sweet potato avocado, some hokey fish, some spices, a little bit of capsicum, and of course, topped it off with a drizzle of olive oil and lemon to finish off. You keen to eat? I'm very keen to eat. <laughs> I'm keen. holding back here, I had to say, don't, 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 I need to get the video. When we go out from Spartan Race, I'm getting keen, I'm a little bit scared, but we'll get it done. Nutrition's on point, training's going well. We'll see you next week. You wanna sign it off with me? Yeah. Ready? Ha ha ha!